guys, it's Margaret, and today I'm bringing you a video about how I come up with ideas and designs for merch by Amazon using PicMonkey. Okay, let me just start by saying that I have planned out a whole video. I did research yesterday, kind of, so I don't spend too long in a video going down the rabbit hole, searching, 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 um, coming up with ideas. And I still have all this information I will create a video with, but I wanted to let you know that it changed like that this morning. And that's what happens with me all the time when I am looking at creating shirts for merch by Amazon. My mind is open all the time to the things around me, the things I'm seeing, hearing, everything. Um, and my mind is constantly working on picking up information, picking up tidbits that I think might work in a shirt. And what I mean by this is this morning I was getting ready, you know, I was going to come in my workroom and start getting my things packaged up. And as I sit getting ready, I have an Alexa. <laughs> if you don't know, I have an Alexa. So don't talk now, Alexa. And I generally listen to news or things like that. But there's a podcast called the TED Radio Hour that I like to listen to as well. It comes out, I think, once a week or so. And if you are not familiar with what TED Talks are, um, they they are this TED stands for technology, entertainment, and design, I believe. <laughs> but anyway, TED talks are generally like twelve minute talks that people give on one of these topics, and they're these huge ideas broken down into these bite sized bits. And I enjoy listening to it because it pulls things from areas that I maybe have never thought of, technologies or 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 ways of thinking that just never, you know, I may never think about. So it's like learning and growing all the time. So the TED Radio Hour basically takes certain themes that they have, um, like this one was all about communication and the way we talk and verbal, nonverbal communication and the ways we think about that kind of thing. And it wouldn't seem like something that, oh yeah, I'm going to get a shirt idea from this. Well, long story short, uh, I did. So there was this TED Talk by a guy, I'm going to have to drop his name in here, and it was all about the subjunctive mood, which, or the subjunctive way of speaking. And what that means is, like, when you think about what something should be, or what you, when you think about what something could be, I didn't realize that in other cultures and languages, that is not even something that is there. You know, so this talk that this guy gave, again, I'll drop his name in, was really interesting. And I got to thinking about, there's a whole group of people, subset of people that are linguists and, you know, English majors, or they major in, you know, the classics, Greek, Latin. And this is something that maybe an under served, I'm going to say an underserved population on, you know, print on demand, but that's the kind of stuff I listen for. That's the kind of stuff I look for. You know, I don't necessarily go after the big trending topics and it seems to work for me. I mean, I may every now and then, you know, something in the news happens um, when Cuba, when Fidel Castro died. I, I made a shirt, you know, not necessarily about that, but about, you know, basically, you know, Cubans and Anyway, so I made a shirt to do with that because it was a big thing, and I thought, okay, let's, maybe this will go somewhere, and, and you know, I've done okay with it. So, more like a Cuban pride type of thing. <clears throat> so, with that, that's where I kind of want you to think about um, when you're getting your ideas. I mean, don't, it's not always just, you know, I'm looking around, I see shirts, you know, out and about, or I might see and, and I do that too, but I want to be really careful that I'm not taking somebody else's idea or design or, or something like that. And sometimes, you know, you might borrow elements here and there from different places, um, but, but keep your eyes and ears open to these areas of learning, of, of um, professions, of hobbies, of, of things of that nature that maybe are not as targeted. You know, there's like, the, the other video that I'm going to do where I'm designing a shirt uh, has to do with bird watching. Well, and, and I'll, be, I'll show it again later, but you know, when you look up bird watching shirts, there's a bazillion bird watching shirts out there. But if you start going in and targeting more subsets of that, then you start really narrowing it down. You might, you know, narrow down how many people might buy that shirt, 
but then you're not swimming in a sea of like 5,000 bird watching shirts. You know what I mean? So, what's oh, right, radiance. <laughs> so yeah, keep that in mind. Keep those type of things in mind where it's, you're really, I mean, I, that's what I do. I mean, so I really try to narrow it down to more specific um, types of topics that can, you know, pinpoint more narrow fields. And like I say, you know, it doesn't, um, necessarily sell like 50 shirts of one shirt in a month but over time I have these shirts that because um, I have over 300 shirts up at this time I may sell like one of this shirt three of that shirt five of this shirt you know some months I might sell 11 of one shirt but because I I have such a large cross-section of different fields and categories and hobbies and very narrow and specific things um, those things get hit while, you know, I may be selling one of this and two of that and one of this. And I may sell, you know, 40 different shirts with one or two or three. I mean, last month, I'll have to do my merch numbers, but, you know, in, in February, I had like 117 shirt sales, but maybe only one of those shirts sold like 12. It was a lot of one, two, three, four of these different things that are, you know, going to be, have longevity. You know what I mean? Rather than these trending topics that are, they're hot for the moment and then moving on. So, right. So I don't have to feel like I'm chasing that, that trending topic to create this shirt now, you know, and then because I have to strike while the iron's hot and then it's gone and then that shirt stops selling. You know, like a lot of the political shirts for me, I did a couple, you know, and I had some sell and they were hot, but now it's like, pfft, gone, done, you know, and I'm sure some people still have their shirts that are selling, and there's, I mean, there's a whole world of possibilities there, don't get me wrong, there's a ton to work with, uh, but that's just not my style, so that's not what I'm generally going after, unless something just jumps in my brain when I see or hear it, and I think, okay, let's go with that, then that's generally what I do, so I was listening to this TED Talk getting around to the shirt, and I just thought, you know what, I like that idea so much, I want to explore just creating a text-based shirt that says, I'm in a subjunctive mood. And a, ling a linguist or somebody that's a con contemplative type person that just, you know, a thinker, um, might enjoy this sort of shirt. So I thought that I would, one, um, create this shirt and look up keywords that a person that's a linguist um, or an English type major, a language type major, um, or, you know, professor or something like that might look at what kind of words they would be searching for when looking for a shirt for themselves or for a loved one. So that's what we're going to do today. Long story short, here it comes. Mm -hmm. 